Let's go to a school where IVT is implemented. This is the day in every week which the students enjoy the most. Nobody falls sick on this day. On this IVT day, the students come out of their classrooms and do things which are useful for their school and community. Making parallel and series electrical circuits is just a beginning for them. They do the electrification of their classroom and their homes as well. This motor got burned last night on a farm nearby. Students are rewinding it under the watchful eye of their instructor. These students have taken a work order from a villager for making a stack. They do everything costing, designing, fabrication. No matter what it takes, it has to be sturdy and completed in time. Time for agricultural activities. What the students really learn here is that nature has no room for shortcuts and there is no substitute for hard work. They do all the activities needed to grow crops. They observe things and make notes during this exercise. Finally, they will sell the yield and calculate profit or loss. These girls are constructing a shed for their nursery. Soon, they will grow plants here and sell them to the villagers. This group is constructing steps for the dyes. Making a low-cost ferro-cement water tank is a test of their patience, skill and teamwork. A computer lesson begins with actually opening the machine. Demystification of technology is an important element of the IBT program. This pedal power bicycle to generate electricity is a recent innovation of Vigyan Ashram. Making such innovative products is now a part of the IBT curriculum. What is this cow doing in the school? Well, the students are taking her measurements. By comparing the cow's body to a cylindrical shape, they would estimate her weight and then calculate the daily requirement of feed. In the home and health section, the students learn to find blood groups and hemoglobin count. Using this knowledge, they conduct small awareness camps in the villages.